What's up? It's Embers. Thanks for watching. Today I'm bringing you an early review of a game called Monstero City. It just launched on the iOS. However, I think it's been uh, in beta for several months now. And essentially, it's like a Clash of Clans style game. You build a city and then you attack it with monsters that you spawn. Um, so it has a little bit different take, uh, but the graphics are great. If you look at just some of the graphics here, they're really, really nice. The graphics are run by the Unreal Engine. If you know anything about mobile gaming, the Unreal Engine is really good. Uh, so I, I just want to kind of give you an idea of how great these graphics are. So I'm going to jump the, into the Monsters Lab here. And there are a lot of monsters. I'm, I'm assuming that they're going to add a lot more because I've only been playing a day and I have five. But what's really neat is, again, the, the graphics for the monsters are awesome. But one thing I want to show you that I'm very impressed is, this is actually like a lab, so you, so you can poke these guys. So I'm going to show you like that. And it's cool because each monster reacts in a different way. And this one's the best one. When, he, when you poke him, he, he, he kind of backs up and shakes his hands. And it's, that's awesome. So I'm really impressed by the fact that the developers put this degree of... Uh, detail into this game and I really love this part. I bet you a lot of players don't even know that you can hit the screen and kind of like poke Poke your monsters as if they're in a real lab So this is that was just a cool thing I found after several hours of playing this game in terms of your town You can you know expect the basics. There's guns. There's you know zap towers and then there, there there's like your town hall and your schools and energy here's the dna lab and this is where you spawn your monsters now right now you take five capsules and it just randomly spawns your monster um i'm probably going to make another video after i've played for a little longer where i'm hopefully i can get some better monsters because right now most of mine are common i only have one that is not a common the other thing you're able to do is evolve your monsters if you get duplicates. So I'll give you an example. We're going to go back into the monster lab. And I want to show you an example of how to evolve a monster. Uh, right here, Max Horn. Here we go. I, I have three copies. So I'm just going to e evolve him. And you're going to see basically he, all his stats just become stronger. And so the more duplicates you get, the more times you can evolve him which is pretty cool so you know it cut because obviously you're going to be receiving a, a lot of duplicates so this is kind of cool that you can use your duplicates to to make your monster stronger um so let's st i'm starting from the left here here are the achievements pretty standard here's a defense and attack log the best thing is they have replay thank god okay Every game like this should have replay. It should shape all your attacks and your defenses, which is fantastic. Um, here's your inbox, and here are your friends, top players, syndicates. Syndicates are like guilds. Um, I haven't joined one yet, but I will likely soon. Over here at the bottom left, uh, it gives you everything that you can build, and it's broken into economy, defense, labs, and treasury. Top right, there's also gems. Uh, again, this is a game. There is a cash shop, so you can buy gems and you know, uh, uh, gold and energy if you want to. Here is just sort of, you can edit the map or edit your town quite easily. I really like the, the way they did that. It's very, very simple. And you can remove the trees also. I have done that a little bit already. This is the syndicate. Now I haven't joined one. What sucks is you can't chat at all until you join one. Um, see like here, you can check the chat button, but you can't, th there is no public chat, which could be, be good um, there's some games that I really don't like the public chat because it's not well built or maintained uh, right here there are crates which you can get for free the, the one on the left you you get for free that they have gold platinum and monstro key I can't I cannot pronounce that and you know inside each crate you get a chance at different types of things uh, the biggest things to focus on here is the modules to get better monsters so as you can see the higher the crate the better modules that you're able to get which is the key because the better monsters you have the better you're going to be able to raid so going back to the town essentially you know certain buildings they generate gold and energy over time now i haven't played this game long enough to really get a feel for you know how quick the energy or gold comes but it seems to come at a decent rate now at the bottom right this is where you go into attack mode now there is a single player on the right or you can go PvP on the left so I'm actually gonna show you a replay which thank God these guys have replay of a battle I did a couple hours ago 
just so you get a feel for the gameplay. So right now, I am I'm allotted two monsters, and as you level up, you're allotted more slots for monsters. So this isn't like Clash of Clans where you can drop like, you know, 30 or 40 troops on the ground. Basically, you're only attacking with a small handful of monsters. And um, right here, it's, it's unfortunate, but you can't see the, uh, the energy that gets generated for all the special attacks. So for the most part, these monsters are attacking on their own. So they attack, on, you have no direct control except for the special abilities. But if you're smart enough, you can use your special abilities to kind of push your monsters to go in a certain direction, which is really key. And I'll tell you why, because right here, you see there are two cans at the bottom south and there's one cannon on the west side. And so I really want to try to destroy as much of the city as I could before I get too close to those cannons. And I was using the special abilities to kind of push my monsters that way. As you can see, um, what, what I would call King Kong, my, my giant ape just died. And now I have my plant who is arranged and I'm trying to take down this, this cannon, but I know it's not gonna happen. Uh, but that's okay because I got 85% and two stars. Um, I, again, I, I've only been playing a day and so far the attacks have been okay. I think there's only been one town that I wasn't able to completely clear or get almost done. But I, I can tell that the towns are, are getting significantly harder. So that's gonna be a fun challenge. So here's the cash shop again, where you can buy gems, and obviously th that's gonna help you out a lot. You can also buy energy, gold, all types of things that can kind of help you speed up the game, just like any other game. The town itself is very customizable. You can build a lot of different buildings, and you can also edit as well fairly easily. You just kind of move things around, which I really like. Um, again, the trees are removable. Uh, going back to just sort of the monsters, you know, the graphics are great. I'm really looking forward to them adding more monsters because I think that's really going to shine in this type of game right here. And uh, if you go back into the DNA lab, this is a really important aspect of the game, obviously, is where you make monsters. So as I play this game, I'm looking to, you know, try to get more rare monsters and, and I'll show you those and see what they can do. Um, as your DNA lab levels up, there's a, I believe there's a higher percentage of you being able to get better monsters. Now just kind of backtracking and talking about the graphics again, the graphics in this game are incredible. Uh, if you look, you know, a lot of the buildings have great details like the Tesla ball there with the lightning, you can see the lightning bolts inside the I don't know, capsules. If you look at the cannon, you can kind of see things sort of fl flowing down. So it's really nice that they went to this detail. Um, I'm especially impressed in terms of the monsters. There, there's always one monster kind of roaming around, sort of guarding your your base. And there's again, there's, there's sort of like the outside roads and you see cars moving back and forth. So it's kind of cool that they, you know, put this much thought into the graphics. I'm really looking forward to you know, clearing a lot of the trees out and actually start building a city and focusing on an actual defensive strategy. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you have questions or comments, please leave them below.